this is uh, your very own mr cloud oleka and i just want to show you all how to trade futures because i know most of you are having issues trading futures this is the mobile app this is the binance mobile app so look at the app you would see the first thing you would see is the home the second thing is the markets the third thing is the trade the fourth thing is the futures the fifth thing is the wallet just look down 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 click on the futures for those who want to trade futures when you click on the futures it's going to take you to something like this and look up look up up above you would see usd x uh, in circle slash m then you would see coin slash m you will see options and battle you understand so if you want to trade futures if you want to trade buy nice futures it must be in the usd cycle slash m very important and now let's say i want to uh search for a coin all i have to click on is the btc usdt click on the btc usdt it's right in front of you look at your screen click on it if you click on it you would see favorite all and zones you understand wow see everything is damn green so now let's say i want to trade on algo i want to trade on algo i will just type a l g o this is it very easy if someone gives you signal or you want to trade algo very easy as abc so when you've typed this out what's the next thing you do you click on it so click on algo so now you say look at that place okay it has changed from btc now to algo usdt as easy as abc my leverage is already set but by default this isolated will be cross by default by default this 5x will be 20 by default you understand it's just because i've traded this cryptocurrency that's why it's like this so by default it's going to be like this so what does this cross mean when it cross it means that even if i go into trade with maybe not up to a hundred percent of my balance by touching this slider you understand if the trade is against me and the market is not going in favor of my prediction or my entry after my balance is ripped off the the balance i have in my usdt which i didn't go into the trade with will also be liquidated so that's why it's always best you uh use the isolated and please do not use all your uh account size to go into any single trade so now you click on isolated whenever you go into any new coin first thing you should click first is on the isolated uh change it from cross to isolated and you go to confirm and please do not use 20x leverage you are only killing yourself the highly recommended leverage for every beginner or every trader even me is the 5 and 10x leverage on alternate coins you use 5x leverage on bitcoin uh wi-fi and other coins you can use the uh 10x leverage i will explain this in another class so you just have to reduce the announce to 5x leverage because if i have 5x leverage i would give my trade uh, space to play i will give it time i will give it everything it needs so now i've adjusted this another thing you should look down now is uh your buy and sell look at it right in front of you the buy and the sell below the buy and the sell you will see your available balance my available balance now is 1.30 usdt obviously this is not what i traded 1.30 usdt right below it you would see the limits then you would see the current price that i can go into uh i'll go using this is the limit price then you would see the amount i'll go you would see this slider here sorry you will see this slider here then you would also see the take profit and stop loss which you can click on once it's yellow tick then you know that uh you can now set it whatever whatever however you want so now this is what you should do very very easy so uh so this is it so you would see the limit so if i click if i limit now i've taught this in basic class so when you're using the limits you want to go into signal you want to go into a trade you already have uh the support zone the resistance zone you just type in the digit here you see you just change it to the particular number you want to set so if you are using the limit the choice is yours so if you just want to go into the trade like you just want to jump into the trade click on this arrow facing facing down click look at the limit now click on the arrow beside it you would see it just click on the limits this is what is going to appear the limits the market the stop limits the stop market and the trailing stop 
very important this market is when you want to go into the trade immediately just like you go to a grocery store and you want to purchase an item you're not pricing because the price is already there which is by this uh, side of the screen the price is there so you just want to just go into the trade make your losses or wins and leave the market so you use the market order so now i'm going to go into this trade and i will show you all the effects of the market order so if i slide here to the extreme and to the extreme if i slide here to the extreme so if i slide here to the extreme now if i slide here to the extreme using 100 percent my balance you would see what will happen i would automatically be taken in to this trade now into this trade now so i'm going to click now buy long you see what's going to happen to this market now viola look at down you see now you see the order book and the position so now i will check the position if i click on the position now you would see i am already in a position why am i in a position it's simply because i use the market order to go into the trade. you understand if i didn't use the market order i would not automatically be in a position so now now this is what you see adjust your leverage remember if you've already set your leverage and you are in a trade there is no trick you're trying to do or to adjust or readjust that is going to work it is a complete bullshit and a complete waste of time a big waste of time so now you see the stop profit and loss very important you also see the close position so now if i want to set my stop loss i've checked my whatever entry i've calculated my loss and everything i click on the stop loss and profit then i set to the amount i i want to consider my loss so if i if the price falls down to 1.200 you see i'll be losing uh 0 0.87 usdt which is 100 percent which is about 70 percent or 50 percent of my total balance so this is how you set your stop loss so and when you are when you set your stop loss once you type in the digit you would see a minus sign but if you want to set your take profit let me just set this so you see what a stop loss is so now confirm stop loss you now check your order open your orders now click on open your orders you would see now this is now the stop market sell short so when it gets to this price I will be taken out of the market as easy as abc so now again now let's say now you want to uh set your take profits you just click stick click on the same place you click the same stop loss and take profit click on it again and now add up this figure from your entry my entry point was 733 that was my entry point which means it's still 0 0.00 i'm not going to lose anything so let's say i want to go out of the streets one once it is four thousand uh you see so now you look at down here it is just 0 0.10 which means it's a plus it's an added amount so if i click on it now confirm you see order created i check in my open orders very easy you would see it now take profits market sell short so now another way to set you stop your your uh stop losing take profit is very easy look at your screen you would see after the isolated 5x after the algo perpetual look below it you will see the isolated 5x after that look below it you will see the size open and close bracket algo inside look down you will see the entry price look down you will see this tp slash xl that is also a stop loss and take profit the tp is a take profit the sl is a stop loss so you click on it very easy so now i will type the price my entry price was look up you see my entry price was 1.3377 usdt 1.3 i was okay when it, my stop my take profit should be 1.400 so you see that's my take profit that means um if it gets to 1.400 1.4 i'm going to make 10 cents then my stop loss is should be below this my entry look at my entry price right above look up look up you would see entry price so now my uh stop loss now should be below my entry price so i would say 1.3700 so if the market goes below this price that means i'm going to lose 0 0.03 cents you understand so this is what is it so if you click on confirm you've set your stop loss and your take profit as easy as abc click on confirm now this is confirmed and when it's confirmed you check your order book you would see the take profit the stop market you see this is just how it's going to be so most of the times most of the times i would advise you to use this 
uh, TPSL and also uses stop profit and loss. So you are double guided. You understand? Double guided. You've you've double you've protected your position you've you've doubled your guard so if the market were to crash it's not going to crash on you as easy as abc so this is what it is so now let's come to another thing now let's say you want to close a position as easy as abc look at it now it is looking at you right right in the front of you click on it close position then now you would see 50 percent close 25 percent close 10 percent close 100 percent close this is just what it is let's say i want to close 50 percent now i click on 50 you will see i'm closing 50 percent my position you would see i've closed 50 percent my balance has divided by two it's no more 1.36 is now 0 0.70 so now i want to close my order 100 percent total percent i click on confirm and i am out of this trade confirm so you see you see i lost two cents in that trade so that is what it is so when you use the market order to go into a trade this is what you do so now if you want to use a stop limit or the stop market when i want to go into a trade like i already planned my trade and everything i ensure that i use a stop limit in stop market so when you click on the stop limit it's very very easy you click on the stop limit you type out the number you feel very comfortable in to go into the market for a buy long you type again 1.40025 you push slide there for all your balance or half your balance and everything you it will go down to your open orders now 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 open orders look down you see your open order so if the price don't get to this 1.4 thousand the market will not trigger triggering means you are not going to be in that trade which means you are safe whatever happens for as long as it doesn't get to your entry price you are not going to be in the trade as easy as abc as easy as abc so when you want to use the stock market still the same but here you have to just input one entry using the stock market this is a stock market so let's say i want to make an entry when it is 1.40010 this is it so i push all my balance 100 percent. i could use 50 percent of all my balance i could use 70 i could use 100 so i put the buy long you see it's not going to trigger it's also going to be in the open order in the order book it says so look at this now you will see the algo perpetual stop market buy log if the price don't get to 1.4010 the market will not trigger now algo perpetual again stop limit buy long if the price don't get to the 1.4 thousand the market will not trigger this is very easy this is how to trade futures using the binance app and what you should always do is please 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 always check your cross change it from cross to uh cross to isolated and reduce your leverage this 5x now is your leverage always ensure you reduce your leverage so you don't blow off your card going to depth is that crying and crying and crying so as we proceed so if you love this video if you enjoy my work and enjoy what i do ensure you subscribe to this channel you like you comment you share you also can ask questions and i will clear you and if there's something you want me to help you on you can as well contact me through my telegram handle very very easy so i believe this is all you need to know to go into trade on the binance app futures uh platform thank you every one of you i remain you very well mr cloud and god bless you all Thank mm -hmm. you.